Closed captioning of Fishing Saskatchewan has been provided by Great Western Brewing Company. Please enjoy responsibly. Fishing Saskatchewan is brought to you by The Fishing Hole North Sask Farm Equipment Alumacraft Boats and Evanrood. 70 years of making the industry standard in aluminum boats. At Alumacraft, we are committed to building the dreams of our customers. Whether it's a hardcore fisherman or joining your family for a great day on the water. From shallow water John boats to 20 foot deep bees suited for big waves. Alumacraft's exclusive 2XB hull with double plated aluminum from bow to stern offers the quietest and softest ride available. At Alumacraft, it's all about families. Fishing forever. Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Fishing Saskatchewan. I'm Neil, I'm here with our hosts Smitty and Steve, and along with us on this trip, another special guest, Mr. Tom Grunwald, and uh, he's here to, to help us catch on to some, some big jumbo perch, and you know, welcome back to Saskatchewan, Tom. Always good to be here, and looking forward to seeing if we can catch some of these big things here. I know you got some foot-long, 13, 14-inch perch here in Saskatchewan, so yes, we do. I'm looking forward to getting a couple of those. And you're also looking forward to maybe getting a double-digit walleye here. Oh, and if those big red marks come in, my heart rate goes up. <laughs> awesome. Stay tuned, folks. It's going to be a great episode. Today's ice anglers need to be efficient, and HT offers a huge selection of premium ice tackle designed to meet virtually every application. Whether you fish bluegills, crappie, perch, stocked trout, whitefish, walleyes, pike, or lake trout. HT has what it takes to make you consistently successful. Nothing beats ice fishing, nothing. for this year tip down system from uh, HT Enterprises and the nice thing this is actually the first time we get to use it but the nice thing about it it's got an adjustable weight right here and you can actually use that to adjust the pressure for your your bite so you slide it this way if you're fishing say like you would a normal tip up a big smelt and a strike rate something like that so a pike bite it needs lots of pressure to move that flag up Today we're fishing for perch and uh, walleye, so I've got it moved all the way forward so it takes a very, very light bite to move it. So right now we're fishing in about 28 feet of water, um, kind of up or down the slope here, compare, uh, depending on which way you're going. And right now we're marking some schools of fish. Hey Tom, how deep are you over there? I got 25 here. 25. You marking? 29. And a smattering of perch on the bottom. It's got this uh, nice little walleye here. She uh, came in and absolutely smashed uh, my little uh, jig and wrap type lure. And uh, you know, there's there's a lot more down there, so you know the. This mark was actually smaller than the other one that uh, came up and took a swipe at it, but this one was super hungry, so we're gonna, you know, put this one back and uh, try and get a bigger one. Oh, she's cold. Let's see if she'll go back down. And there she goes. Just had one come in and bump me. He didn't hit real hard, but he did hit it.
Fish on. Not big, but we got one. It's just a little pike, Smitty. There you go. You gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> took it a little deep, did he? Well, he took that blade bait though, Smitty. I've had several fish about three feet off the bottom now come up and chase it. Yeah. And uh, they just won't hit. And finally, this guy came up. He came in real hard, of course. You can tell it wasn't a wall. I just went way into acting. Yeah. Well, I wonder if that's a good indication then that uh, it's maybe perch that aren't chasing it, not hitting. That might be what's bringing a guy like that in. I'm seeing um, some nice marks. All of them been about three feet off the bottom, and uh, they'll they'll just kind of come up a little bit and swim off. Um, one time I had a set of fish. One kind of came in below. Another one was above it. And then I started thinking, oh, we're gonna get something get going, some you know, going, get a little, yeah. little competition. But uh, unfortunately. Uh, they both swam off too. Huh. They're down there. We just got to figure out what it is we can do to trigger them. This doesn't feel like a perch. It looks a little heavier than that. Yeah. But yeah, they were moving through, and I got a couple hits on the dead stick. And sure enough, what comes by right after yep. those perch? <laughs> Almost every time. <laughs> Almost every time. <laughs> hey, you, you get put a some bend in your rod, right? Yeah. Not quite what we're after, but. Action nonetheless. So yeah, definitely uh, my dead stick. I've got a dead stick just a couple feet over here. Uh, got a couple taps on that. Saw some perch move through in the sonar. And then two minutes later, <laughs> she comes in and she's gone. Maybe those perch will stick around now. <laughs> There's a big, big red mark. There we go. Fish on. Doesn't feel as big as what I made it out to be, I don't think. <laughs> you said it was a big red mark, but you're just messing with us. Huh? Yeah, I think, I think. <laughs> Whoa. Unless you like, Unless you like jumbos. Now that is a fish. That's a jumbo <laughs> right there. I mean, pretty much, if you're looking for perch, you're looking for perch like that. It's probably, you know, in Saskatchewan, you know, people like to walleye fish, they like to pike fish, but if there's a perch bite on, people will drive for hours to get to it. And I mean, we're just out here searching a main lake basin, basically featureless areas, except for some rock piles probably here and there. But uh, awesome, just on a little flasher jig and a minnow. That's a nice perch, Steve. Yeah, we're gonna, actually, I think we're gonna keep this one for uh, for the pan that's a perfect size this is a nice little perch about the same size we're catching 10 11 inch you can see he's been the guy that's been stealing my minnows he's got a lot in there <laughs> that looks like actually a little I think it is walleye yeah yeah he's feeding hard that's definitely not right. your minnow Nope, it's definitely not because I was using just the head. Yep. Oh. But a... nice little guy. Yep. Beauty. Lots of these. Oh yeah. Lots of these. And there's bigger. Yeah. There's uh <laughs> up yeah. to fifteen inches in there and that's about a ten, so Yeah. Yeah. If we can get on a heavy nope. bite of big jumbos. Well that's the thing. Usually when you're getting into them like this, you're getting a lot of them. Yeah. I mean, it's, you can get times where it's one after the other, so it's a little slower right now, but it's picked up in the last half hour, so hopefully we're going to get a whole mess of them. Blood starts pumping, you see red marks, and you just freak out. Fortunately, every red mark doesn't bite. That would be a good world. Oh, perfect, perfect oh, ice world. Good. They're going to hit. They're going to turn at some point. Uh, may all be in an hour-long period. But at some point, they're just going to start hammering. Come on. No. I still think that's... Uh, let's see if I can draw them up. They're all sitting within a foot of the bottom right now still. 
Oh, that's a nice perch. Oh, transducer. Oh, Woo! beauty. Look at that jumbo. Nice. That's a nice perch right there. Oh, boy. Wow. What a nice looking fish. That is a beauty. Whew. Look at that, baby. Yeah. Nice. That is a gorgeous perch. That's pushing 12 inches. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just stepped outside to uh, work on some gear. Pawned back in. The mark was sitting right under there. Two jigs. Bang. Nice. Beauty. Nice work, Smitty. Outstanding. All right. Let's get a bunch more of these ones. Our town needs to pick stuff up around here. Like, we got to start <laughs> catching fish. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, we're pulling close here. Yep. That looks good. good. Yeah, no, this one looks not too bad. Yeah. That looks like uh, I hope that's a good sized perch. Yeah. Let's see if they're coming back. I just caught a glimpse of them circling the home. That's a nice perch. Oh, wow, beauty. yeah. That's a beauty. Nice work, Smitty. Boy, they are loving that little teardrop lure. Yeah. Wait, I've got a bunch on that. Actually, oh, the first one. Oh, sticking up. He's yeah. mad at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the first one I got was on this little hook by itself. But it's so so light, even with this four pound test line. Like it's you got you can't even feel it, right? So I added um, a PK spoon up at the top here just to have a little bit of weight and ran it as a dropper, and they've really been hitting that well. That's a beauty, both the same size as the other ones. Real nice fish. Yep. It's nice when you can get into perks like this. Eh? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many guys that that's what they hit the ice for. Oh, it's yeah. It's just these things. Oh, nice. great, great table fare. Yep. Beauty. And fun to catch, too, when you get into them. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Dave Gens here with the amazing FLX28, a winter fishing sonar system that is changing the way we all ice fish. With digital depth, auto ranging, and five color display options, all packed into one amazing unit, the FLX28. Be sure to check out the entire family of Vexilar, the most reliable sonar system technology on the ice today. Vexilar sets the standards for quality, reliability, and performance. I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. That feels a little bit better. That might be, well, I don't know. I was going to say, we might be getting into the walleye now, but may still be a perch. It must be swimming right at the hole. Oh, nice one. Another good one. Oh, he's filled with minnows. Look at that, hey? Holy gosh. They are feeding. Let's see if I can get you a shot of that. Like he's just, I don't know how many minnows fell. There had to be three or four fell out of them. Oh, I got him right in the hard part of the jaw. There's mine back. There's another one. He spit two out already. Wow. Yeah. And that was again on the minnow. I think we're on something. <laughs> nice. Okay. You know where I got him? Right on the bottom? No. Um, up? Like 15 feet off the bottom. Really? In Way a, up. In a school of bay fish I was jigging. Oh. And just whack. Hammered it. So they're chasing those bay fish around. Yeah. 15 feet off the bottom. Just like the perch. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice little okay. eater sized walleye. Well, he looked way bigger than that down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't that's feel bigger than that, yeah. but that's a nice walleye. Yeah, it's a nice, yeah. nice little eater size. Yeah. And he's feisty. Get down there. There he goes. Awesome. Hey, Smitty, you told me. You tried the Lynn yeah, Thompson. The Lynn Thompson. Look at that. Hey. You see that, that logo on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like we we're talking about Lynn Thompson, one of the things that it differs from other spoons. Is the uh, the brass back and that makes such a difference and today we're fishing yesterday we had low light today it's bright sunny and the Sun with that brass back makes such a difference 
Yeah, and it, it's interesting too. That's a pretty good sized spoon. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people might not think you know you're fishing. Uh, you know, with that size, you're going to catch smaller walleyes or perch, but it goes to show you. Yeah. I mean, go ahead and fish that bigger bait. It gives you a bigger chance of catching a larger fish. And yet, at the same time, you won't be totally out of the action. You can catch perch. Yeah. You can catch uh, smaller walleye too. So. No, for sure. Bigger profile helps draw them in a little bit. And Absolutely. Just slow things down when the fish moves in. Yep. Yep. Perfect. All Good right. fish, though. Thank you. Let's try out this lifting set, hey? Beauty. Nice. Love this new rod holder that HT's got call it a lift and set and you can set it in there and it doesn't have anything that hooks the back end of your rod or the tip or anything like that you can just grab it and pull straight up take it right off the rack nope. beauty because sometimes these perch prefer a hook that's just not moving right I was just sitting there came up and grabbed it I see there's another one just popped up hey yeah Oh, there's two or three on the screen. I gotta get back in there. Yeah. Finally got one of them to hit after a little bit of a lull. But I did just freshen up my bait. Maybe that helped a bit. Yeah. Let's see what it is. Perch or walleye? One of the two. Perch. And it is a perch that just got off right at the top of the hole. At least I got them to hit. I doubled up the doubled up the bait, freshened it up a bit, and got one of them to hit. Nice thing about the chatter spoon on the back of it, you can see here that uh, it's got a rattle built in. The one side's a glow fluorescent. The the other side's got a rattle, and that's my personal favorite uh, bait for both perch. Well, not so much for perch, but for definitely for walleye. I really like that bait. There you go. All right, well, another fish on the Lynn Thompson. Yeah, That's my second that, walleye. Uh, working that lure. Not, uh, not a big one, but you know, Neil said, he says those Neil, those Lynn Thompson spoons really work well. And then he's just having me kind of wrap the, the whole minnow, uh, minnow on the hook. On the treble there. Yeah. And uh, it's probably, it's probably a little much for a tulip bee. Yeah. A smaller perch, but hey, we're after walleye, right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No, that's a great attractant. That's good. I'm really impressed. Yeah. It's got a nice action to it. All right. Yeah, it really does. Good, good hook uh, year round. We use them summer, winter, whatever. They're a great hook. I'm gonna have to pick up a few of these and take them back to the There you go. <laughs> I'm curious to see what fish this is because he was very, very curious. Tulipy. Oh, there you go. That's the first tulipy we've got. You know, when it was weird, I had, of course, I've got my. My main lure for an attractant and then the drop shot where I've got my bait on it. <clears throat> and this fish came in three or four times. I could see him on the sonar acting very strange. Chased the the uh, attractor hook and it was just up and down the water column all over the place. And I wasn't even really thinking about it, but I mean, that's pretty typical for these little tulipy. Uh, and lo and behold, that's what we got. So, yeah, cool. First one. That's a big perch. Oh, holy jeepers, creepers. Look at that. Holy. That's a slab. That's a slab. Look at that thing. That's got to be 12 or 13 inches. Yep. Nice. Look at that beauty perch. Fish on, nice. Oh, not big, but they're coming through a little bit higher, and I like that. Another little walleye. You know, one thing I noticed as I'm, I'm jigging here today, Neil, the fish have been coming through on the bottom and coming up the last two days. Yeah. Today I'm, I'm working this bait three feet, four feet off the bottom, 
Those fish are coming in right at that same level. I'll just see the, the mark where my lure is thickened. Yep. Okay, looks like a fish to start raising up and then I'll create a little separation. I'll see that fish and they're chasing. Look at, look at up high. Look at, Holy. look at the size of those fish coming through there. Holy cow, I better get up there. Four or five feet off bottom where you want to be, Neil. Where there's little ones, the big ones will follow. Gonna be a bit better one, hey? For Same as yesterday, getting bigger every time. Nice. There you go, on the perch eye dropper. Good stuff. This guy moved in and he just stuck this, stuck the shiver in him. It's definitely the heaviest fish I've got this weekend. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice burbot. That's a big burbot. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> big old belly on him. Holy. This fat. Oh, I can't get him. Oh, he helped me out. Uh, oh. nice. that thing. Holy cow. That is fat. Well, they're just getting ready to spawn here, anyways. Yeah. They're starting to feed. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Nice. Slimy burbot. And that's boy. actually a big one. That is nice. Like, and it's hard to straighten out, so you're not going to get a great view. But look at that. And good eating, too. If a person wanted to eat a fish, that would be delicious. Yeah. All right, nice. I'm gonna get that guy out of here. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There he goes. Awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. Good work. Yeah. Here, I'll give you some more slime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Fishing Saskatchewan. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.